Walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song. Sports drink. Two dollars on pay pass. Always having time for a quick pit stop. Priceless. Introducing MasterCard Pay Pass, the faster way to pay. Just tap and go. Deep in the heart of Africa, Mali is one of the most beautiful nations on earth. Music is everywhere in Mali, so people listen to musicians quite a bit. They are like messengers. And these messengers are among Mali's most significant cultural exports today. They are pop stars in France, where they won the equivalent of a Grammy, and have toured both the United States and Europe. But while their fans are legion, Amadou Bagayoko and Mariam Dubia have never seen any of them. They are both blind, and it was their blindness that brought them together in the first place. We started playing together around 1976 when I went to the Institute, where I found Mariam. We had played separately, but we reconnected around 76. We started playing in a band at the Institute for Blind Youth. People started calling us the blind couple of Mali. But while their fans are legion, Amadou Bagayoko and Mariam Dubia have never seen any of them. They are both blind and it was their blindness that brought them together in the first place. We make lots of different types of music, because in Mali, there's a lot of musical variety. Every ethnic group has its own music. So many different variations exist. You can hear the wasulu, there's the soyunuku that goes, Another rhythm in Segu, for example, is bara, which goes... That's the rhythm you'll find in Segu. If we take also the Dogon country, they have their own beat. <laughs> <laughs> Somalia offers many different styles of music, lots of variations. Mm -hmm. Many variations many exist. Yeah. Amadou and Mariam's musical adventures aren't limited to what they hear at home. We like mixing styles, so when we travel we listen to a lot of music, such as rap, reggae, we like it all. We concentrate on making music from back home. Abroad there is music from countries such as Nigeria. Bela plays Afrobeat, which influenced us strongly. After Afrobeat, we listen to a lot of high life in Ghana, as well as sound from other countries such as Latin America and Indian music too. Blues and rock have influenced us tremendously, that's why we managed to play just about everywhere. People are able to identify with it because we did find that connection that we transposed into our music. Everywhere we go, people listen to our music, and they dive into it because it communicates messages of harmony, love, peace, and above all, justice. People listen to our music, and it helps them to understand. Indeed, the music we create is African, but everyone can find himself or herself in it, because music is universal. Thank you very much. This presentation copyright National Geographic Society 2006.